Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So I saw this article that I thought was pretty interesting. I thought I'd do a video on this because this caught my attention. I just got an Oculus Rift and I was looking up some news on Oculus Rift and Oculus Rift and it's pretty awesome by the way. I'll do a review on it, but I, lo and behold, I come across this article that it, it's, I'm laughing, but it's not really funny. I guess it is kind of funny. I don't know. I don't care. But anyway, senior Facebook employee arrested for allegedly soliciting unprotected sex from an underage girl. So, you know, he basically got caught in the sting operation, this guy, Dov Katz, and he's the head of computer vision at Oculus VR because he's in Seattle and the story, what ended up happening was, so he basically was on Backpages.com, right, and he was looking for a hooker, which I'm going to guess this wasn't his first time at the rodeo, if, if you know what I mean. I mean, maybe he got busted on his first time, but let's let's assume that that's not the case, okay? So he was texting this this girl who was actually an underage or who was actually a police officer, not underage. But then at the last minute, she says, oh, by the way, you know, there, he's scheduled this meetup where he's going to get uh, a full boyfriend treatment and a sleepover. <laughs> Wonder what that means, right? And they negotiate a price. And then she says, oh, by the way, I lied to you. I'm not actually 19. I'm 15. Is that OK? You know, don't tell anyone. And he I guess he says yes. And then he shows up with 500 bucks in his pocket at the location and they basically arrest him. So that's a story. You know, you can say what you want, whether or not that's, you know, legitimate or not. But he basically was willing to, you know, pay for sex with a 15 year old girl. So that's that's pretty bad considering, you know, not not just based on the age, but based on the fact that, you know, exploiting a, a minor like that is pretty bad, arguably bad. But that's not what I want to talk about today, right? And I don't want to necessarily make fun of this guy because some of you that are looking at this article that are watching this video right now, right? Some of you know that that could have been you. That easily could have been you. And so the reason why I'm making this video and the reason why I'm pointing to this article, which you can check it out on, on Gizmodo, is because sometimes some of you wonder why I make the certain kind of videos that I do sometimes on this channel for guys specifically and specifically how to for, for guys to become more masculine, to get more in touch with uh, with being a man and, and how to attract women. Right. I did a whole I've got a whole playlist of videos on this wherever the the, the playlist ends up showing up. I guess I'm backwards here on this video. But some of you really wonder why why I do this and. What I can say to that in this case specifically is, look, if you look at this article at what happened to this guy, right? Imagine if his life might have been different, if things might have gone down differently, if he was a subscriber to this channel and he was watching some of those videos. You know, I, I'm not trying to toot my own horn here, but I'm just saying, right? I mean, there's there's more than my advice out here, but I am specifically giving this advice to software developers, to you guys out there, and I'm doing it because I'm a guy, but for a reason, right? And it's not just so that you can get a date, right? It's it's not just about that. It's not, it's it's about, you know, it's about what happens when when guys are frustrated and they can't figure the shit out. And a lot of you guys that are software developers that are somewhat nerdy, somewhat dorky, right? Somewhat uh, introverted to some degree have trouble with this, right? This is not something that we should necessarily be ashamed of or be afraid of, right? But you look at this news article and you see what the results can be. And the results can be worse than this. I mean, believe me, this is a, a pretty mild result, but look at what's happened to Dov here, right? He's basically ruined his life, right? He's probably not going to be getting another job. He's probably going to get fired from Facebook. I can't believe, I can't, imagine that they're going to keep him on after this even if he's proven innocent in court this accusation is going to everyone's going to know that he was definitely the facts of the matter was he was definitely trying to hire a hooker off of back pages right so that's that's definitely true his family and friends are all going to know about this co-workers right so this guy's life is basically ruined why why is it ruined because he's just trying to do something that every single guy is trying to do. And, but you know what? The problem is that he couldn't figure out how to go and to get this sexual gratification that he has fulfilled in a, in a proper way. So he resorted to 
you know, to illegal methods, right? This is this is what happened, right? He he didn't have the confidence. He didn't know what he needed to do. That he didn't realize that he didn't have to pay. <laughs> he didn't realize that he could have figured that there was an alternative, that there was another way, and no one showed him. No one showed him the ropes. No one showed him, you know, what, what the possibilities were. So when you wonder sometimes, and you're like, John, you're such an asshole. Why do you make these videos? Well, this is one of the reasons, honestly, you know, I know some of you are still a little skeptical, but, but seriously, like, think about it. I want you to really think about how this guy's life, how this, these events could have gone down differently. Had he had just a little bit of confidence, had he had a little bit of success, had he known that he could go to a bar and talk to a woman and not be afraid, right? Had he had figured that out or he had figured out, you know, how to, to operate in this, in this realm and to be able to get what he wants out of life besides just the money, just besides right? He's got the money to pay for the sex. That's great. But that's not what he really wants. Right. And so you, you look at this case and and there's there's more examples of this. Right. You know, there, what's that guy, that Elliot guy? I can't even remember. I, I shouldn't even grace, you know, his his legacy by, by giving his name. But I saw the YouTube video that he did where he was sitting in his car. Elliot Rogers, I think it was. Yeah, I think that was the guy. But anyway, he, he's sitting in his car and he's he's complained to the world about how you know women never showed him. You know, they abused him and didn't treat him right. And they went with the jocks and all this stuff and how life was unfair. And so he decided that he wanted all these people to die and shoot up the, you know, shoot up the, the school and kill a bunch of people. Right. This is the kind of shit that happens. Right. Or you, you hear the kind of tech events like you wonder why would a guy send death threats and dick pics to women who speak at conferences or women in technology that's so fucking stupid why would you do that this is why bam it's it's frustration it's it's <laughs> it you know it's it's something that a lot of people they don't understand they think that okay yeah so you know just some weirdo some deranged guy would do this no what it is is it's it's when you are frustrated and you can't figure out how to get what you want and what you need you start to go about getting it, you're going to get it, right? You're going to get your desires met. You're going to get your your needs, your basic human needs met at some degree, at some level, in some way, right? Now, some people are going to be content with just watching porn, porn and, and jacking off. That's fine, right? Some people are going to do that. But other people, they're going to take it to the next level or that's not going to be enough for them. So they're going to say, well, I, 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 need, to, I need to hire a hooker, right? And then they're going to say, oh, well, you know, so what? I'll, how about a 15 year old hooker? It doesn't matter, right? Because they, they don't care. They just want to get what they want. They want to get the next high. They want to get that thing, right? Some some of these guys are going to go and they're going to like be angry and harass women and they're going to or, or become aggressive. And, and when they can get away with it, sexual assault, using their power, you know, over over a woman. All of these things are the bad result of a, a, a need that's being met in the wrong way. And so Again, when I'm talking on this channel, when I'm doing these videos, right? I'm not doing these videos to be fucking cool or to like show how 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 awesome I am or to I, I don't know. I, it's not it's none of those things. It's honestly about like there's a need, and especially in the software development world, I know it. Trust me, I was a software developer for 15 years, over 15 years. I hung around software developers. I smelt them. <laughs> I no offense, right? Not everyone is like that. I'm not, you know, but I'm saying that there is, you know, you know, you are a software developer. You've been around other software developers. You know what the culture is. You know what what ten time of pe what kinds of people tend to be in the field, especially guys. And you know that they need help in this area. And so no one's doing that because they're afraid. They're afraid of being politically correct. They're afraid of all this this bullshit, the repercussions of this of this stuff. But when we hide these problems under the rug, when we don't deal with them in the appropriate way, when we say, you know what, just stuff it, <laughs> just just deal with your own shit, right? And, and we ignore these kind of serious problems in society, right? And especially today in society, I'll, I'll tell you right now, there's probably no no more of a frustrating time to be a guy in history where there's no right moves that you can make, right? Because if you're if you're aggressive and you go what, get what you want, you're you're a, a chauvinist prick right and if you're a, a pussy and you don't care and, and you just like give in and you just like be a people pleaser and you're you know trying to be a nice guy and stuff you're gonna get stomped all over you're gonna get your heart crushed right or you're gonna you're gonna end up alone and and there's 
there's so many ways for for you to avoid the social contact, the, the, the social anxiety that is going to force you to become what you need to become to be able to get what you want out of life. And so it's a difficult time, right? And so Again, I, I'll, I'll tell you, you know, you look at this article, you read this article, you see how this went down and picture, if not you, if not you, could this be someone you know? Honestly, I, and, I, and I mean this 100%, I'm not, I'm not trying to bullshit here. Could this be someone you know, if, or, or could it be you that could have been in this situation and totally fucked up your life? And if that's the case, right, either way, whether you know someone or, or it's you, then what's the solution? Is the solution for us to say, oh, well, you know, he should have just been stronger or you shouldn't, bad, 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 right? When we all know that we're human beings and we have these desires and they will be met in some way. And we can't necessarily control how people are going to express and, and meet those desires unless we, we teach them, unless we teach them the proper way. If we give them the skills, if we give them the confidence, if we show them that there a way is possible that they didn't think was possible, that's the better way, which is the way that they'd want to meet these desires and have these things fulfilled, right? Then we equip them. Then we avoid these problems. Then we don't have this kind of these kind of issues, especially in the tech community, where there are there, there's a lot of of sexual frustration from men that are being that that is is resulting in aggression towards women and is making it a, a bad place for women in, in those, especially when there's anonymity, anonymity involved, right? I mean, honestly, let's be honest about this, right? I'm not trying to blow up something that's, that's not, you know, that, that's not warranted, but I think that's about all I got to say about that. So I just thought I want to, I wanted to point this out to some of you that don't quite get it, that don't quite understand why would you make this kind of content? Why would you be such a, a chauvinist asshole, John, and, and, and show guys how to, how to get girls that are software developers and, and be so cold and cruel hearted. And, and this is one of the reasons, honestly, this is it because people are not addressing this and it's a need and we know that it's a need. And, and like I said, and if that need doesn't get met in a process, Proper way. If you're not given the tools, if you're not given the way to properly, you know, solve this problem, it's gonna it's gonna express itself in things like this, in arrests for sting operations, in aggression, in in a lot of bad ways that you don't want, right? Especially companies like Facebook don't want this. So you know, it's not a, a happy issue for, for, for many people. It's very embarrassing, but I'm going to talk about it and I'm not going to stop. And I'm going to address these, these issues and, and try to equip uh, guys that have not gotten the advantages in life that, that other guys have that don't have this problem. I'm going to try and help them as much, as much as I can on, on this channel. So if you don't like that, like I said, you know, when you, when those videos come along, you're, you're welcome to skip those videos, but at least if, even if you don't agree, you can see the purpose behind this. And I, again, you know, I don't have to justify what I'm doing, but I did want to point that out. And that I felt like this was a really good example of, of that, you know, of, of what, what can happen and what will happen. Right. You know, and, and for every, again, like I said, with this guy, Dov or Dov or whatever his name is, this probably wasn't his first offense. He's probably got a habit of doing this. Right. <laughs> and, and if he's done this and he got caught, Imagine how many are out there, right? And, and how much actual exploitation, real exploitation may be happening because of this, right? You know, would this guy be out there on back pages? Would he be in the position where he's potentially soliciting you know, a 15 year old girl if he could go out and get a date? I, I seriously, seriously doubt it, right? But, you know, this is, this is what, what you end up getting. If you like this video, if you want to get some help in this area, honestly, I, I'm going to recommend that you check out my playlist, like I said, on becoming wherever it is, becoming more of a, a masculine male and, and attracting women. Honestly, it's it's advice along this this lines. Uh, I definitely recommend you check that out. And then go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and you'll get all the videos that I do. Uh, and it's not just about picking up women. It's not just about avoiding these problems. It's about improving your life, honestly, because that's that's what that's what's ultimately going to matter, which is improving yourself, growing, becoming a better version of yourself, becoming stronger. So click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And it, let's get on this journey together. I will talk to you next time. Take care and uh, and stay out of 
stay out of trouble. Stay off of backpages.com. Don't be a dumbass. Obviously, those are sting operations on a site that you can just Google and say that you're looking for a hooker in a, in a, in a city. Come on. You got, you got to be a little bit smarter than that. See you next time.